Hello children. In our previous class, we have recapitulated our body parts, our sense organs and division of our body. Then teacher introduced lesson number one, our body. So today we will learn the subtopic bones and muscles. So please take out page number 173. Please keep your fingers under the words and eyes will be on the word. Okay. How do we walk? What helps our legs move? How do we move other parts of our body? Have you ever thought on these lines children? Have you ever thought what our body parts is made up of or how they are connected with each other? Children, you have always seen the external body parts like our head, hands, legs, etc. Okay? What about the internal part? Like our brain, like our um, heart, chest. Okay? Then we have bones, muscles. These are our internal parts which you haven't seen. Okay? So bones and muscles are the things which is inside our body. Okay, children? Now, uh, you may be feeling sometimes that when you touch some of the body parts, they are very soft. And when you touch some body part, they are very hard. Like when you touch your head, it is hard. When you touch your chin, your elbow, your knee, they are very hard. But when you touch your cheeks, your stomach, your thighs, they are very soft. Why? Because the hard part, hard body part, when you touch, okay, when, when you touch and you feel it is hard, they are our bones. And the softer part, body part, are the muscles. Okay. Now, before starting beginning the topic, I'll show you our muscular system. Okay. Now, this... Is it scary children? No. And this you have seen in our school. Where? In our biology lab. Okay. This is the human structure. Skeleton structure. Okay. Now there are many bones. Okay. All the bones together makes the skeleton form. They are bones like they have leg, arm, foot. Okay. And hand. That is skull. And every bone, every bone has got different names. Okay, children. When you go in higher classes, you will learn about all these things in detail. So, this, these are our bones. Okay. Which is our internal part and which is hard and touch. Yes. Now, we'll start with the other topic. Bones are hard to touch. Our body has 206 bones. My children, when you were small, you had around 270 bones. But when you grow up, the bones get joints. Okay? Bones give shape and support to our body. Yes. Okay? Moment. The more, uh, see, now the moment the activities you do, like uh, picking up of a paper, picking up of a scale, picking up of a book, scribbling on the notebook, moving your body parts, everything is possible because of the bones. Okay? Yes? So, the bones give shape and support to the body. Okay? It is necessary to protect one's bones by wearing helmet, wrist pads, knee pads, okay, while riding a bicycle, skateboard, scooter or skates. Yes, it is very needed because children sometimes what happens, we can see some children in our class or the school, they come to school with a big bandage. And when asked, they say, teacher, I got a fracture. What is this fracture, children? Any idea? 
fracture is nothing but breaking of bones when children play when children um ride a bicycle or um, do skating if they go out without using a helmet or a knee pad and all they fall down and they fall so badly that their bone breaks and children it is very difficult to mend the brain it takes many months so you can see them in the bandage for 3 to 4 months so whenever you are playing okay you are doing any activity or physical activities you have to compulsively keep take a shield to protect your body parts okay now food items like milk cheese and yogurt help our bones to become strong yes even that is very needed very much needed because your bones like when you are small itself you, uh, your bone should be very strong for that you have to feed your bone with milk cheese yogurt etc okay now all the children love eating cheese and yogurt but milk many of you dislike okay but after learning no uh, learning to know about the use how useful all these items are for the bone definitely before coming to school without any complaints you will be listening to your mama okay children yes so here are the picture of milk cheese yogurt even teacher has got has brought oh i have packet of fresh milk and this is the yogurt okay yes so all this has to be included in your diet regularly yes